Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. For today's video, we are finally getting to that Derrick Rose New York Knicks rebuild. And in my opinion, after really thinking about it, I actually love this move for the Knicks. Because in my opinion, the Knicks have a fantastic roster. Like, they are really headed in a good direction. And I know free agency and stuff like that in years past has not quite worked out. But I think when it's all said and done, you know, Knicks fans are really going to be proud of this team that was pretty much built from scratch, right? It wasn't a matter of signing a whole bunch of superstars and all that, man. Like, you guys have something you can really be proud of right here, man. So, before we get going on this rebuild, if you guys don't mind dropping that like, remember, man, it only takes one second of your time. Really helps the YouTube algorithm, man, you know, getting the videos out there for other people to see. Um, and, of course, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, guys, would be greatly, greatly appreciated. But, yeah, so Derrick Rose uh, had his first game against the Miami Heat, and he fit in instantly, man. You know, it was like a six-man off the bench. Uh, came out with quickly, which is really cool to see, but he was instantly setting up guys like Obi Toppin and even quickly himself. So, yeah, he's going to be good. Um, what I did do for Derrick Rose in this case is because I do know 2K just being kind of like a screwy game and stuff like that was going to make me make it so I have to offer him like $30 million. Um, I did extend his contract. After this season right here, I gave him three additional years of $10 million with the team option. Looks kind of glitchy right there for some reason, man. But, uh, yeah, I think that's kind of worth it because uh, team option at the age of 35, if he's injured or whatever at that point, then you just decline the team option. But for the most part, I think he's worth about $10 million a season uh, based off the numbers he has been putting up. So, beyond D. Rose, we got Julius Randle. You want to talk about a guy, a guy that's really been redeeming himself on this Knicks team, look no farther. Uh, people hated him last season. This season, he's been an absolute beast, averaging like 22 points, like double digit rebounds i think like six assists something like that man uh looking like a guy that it's about damn time right man man he's had some decent other seasons on like the pelicans and stuff but yeah he's really breaking out now you got mitchell robinson who's uh you know finally starting to figure things out a little bit more when it comes to just kind of being patient and stuff like that but uh still being a top defensive center in the nba derrick rose who's going to add so much scoring to this team off the bench i will not use him as a starter i just don't think that's his role anymore i feel like him as a six man getting about 25 you know maybe 30 minutes on a close game uh, a night RJ Barrett uh, looking like he's going to break out. He already kind of is at the age of 20. Emmanuel quickly, in my opinion, one of the steals of the draft. Ideally, quickly, I do want to start. I want him to be the starter of this team and have D Rose back him up. Like, that's kind of the goal here. Nerlens Noel, good backup center. You know, I I, I like Nerlens Noel, nothing against him. Uh, Alec Burks, good score. Obi Toppin, obviously, was their top pick in the draft this previous offseason right here. So, uh, you know, maybe not like the quickest start as opposed to some of the other rookies, but uh, he's had injury issues. And, you know, I, I really think when it comes down to it with Obi Toppin, um, you know, maybe... I think to start off, at least, since Julius Randle's doing so well, you might see Obi kind of take on that Kyle Kuzma role. You know what I'm saying, man? Like, like Kuzma on the Lakers is a guy that probably could and should be starting, but, uh, you know, maybe there's just some better players in front of him at the time, so he'll just be a really good scorer off the bench. Austin Rivers, probably a tradable player. Todd Gibson, old, not really doing much. Uh, then you got Alfred Payton, who was playing for his damn life in that first game against Miami. Guys, you know, playing for his spot out there, but I think I'm ultimately going to trade him. And, of course, we have uh, kind of the forgotten wonders out there, Frank Milikina and Kevin Knox. All Knox has been pretty damn solid at times this season so yeah uh from top to bottom i like the team guys it's, it's really solid so let's get going on this rebuild we are currently 11 and 15 on the season keep in mind it's not an updated schedule because 2k is stupid but uh, yeah man the first thing we are going to be doing like i was saying is i really want to uh you know start um emmanuel quickly so alfred payton for me i mean on a one-year contract if i could flip him for a draft pick that'd be nice i'll even toss in austin rivers contract just because we don't really need uh austin rivers like alex burks has been a pretty damn solid scorer so i'm gonna trade both these guys together with the idea of hopefully getting some draft picks or you know some sort of piece um oh there's not really too much this team needs man like they're pretty damn solid so we got matisse thibel and mike scott right there we got brooke lopez uh, Daniel Gafford, Larry Nance, you know, pretty solid player. We got Romeo Langford, we want to go, you know, the younger route, the shooting guard. Uh, Luke Kennard, Patrick Beverly. Ideally, want draft picks. Like, if that's what we can get, um, that's really what I want out of it, man. But uh, I guess if there's opportunities, maybe upgrade other positions. You know, we definitely can't pass on that either. Uh, Joe Harris, we got Jamichael Green. Not, like, loving any of these trades, if I'm being honest here, man. Like, uh, I mean, they're just, like... They're just kind of like whatever trades. Like, I mean, I can just keep these guys and kind of play out the rest of the season and kind of go from there. So, yeah, nothing really worth going for. Like, we're already on expiring contracts anyway. So, that's completely fine, man. Um, I guess in theory we could use a starting shooting guard, but uh, I'd rather save the money for free agency and go for somebody in there. You know, bring somebody to New York to kind of build up with the rest of this team right here. So, yeah, um, like I said, Alfred Payton is not going, in my opinion, be playing, man. Like, I just don't really need him, you know? So, let's get quickly playing a lot of minutes at about 30 a game. D-Rose at 28 off the bench. 
let's knock down Alfred Payton uh essentially all the way man it's just kind of how it has to be and uh yeah definitely want Obi Toppin playing you know we still our rookie out there want to get him at least 20 minutes a game we'll uh move him up in this rotation and there we go there we go let's got some really good potential still and uh yeah that's gonna be the starting five for the rest of the season right here man let's go ahead and simulate this season we got a lot of things you know that uh, we can improve upon going forward but for the most part the core of the team i'm definitely liking it okay so a final record of 34 and 47 i mean the knicks are like 11 and 15 right now so i could see where maybe the team doesn't quite make the playoffs but i do think they have the pieces to definitely do it but uh, regardless um it's not a bad record it definitely shows promise going forward and stuff and there's still so many young players on this team so we got one more game here against the Timberwolves right here simulate through date and first the w against them so Giannis mvp lamello rookie of the year all them good old stats for you guys to see uh, all nba first all nba second all nba third not really expecting to see the knicks anywhere maybe the uh, all rookie teams uh yeah we got emmanuel quickly making that so that is fantastic with obi Toppin is all nba second Alrighty, so not in the playoffs but let's go to these player stats on the season real quick here guys and uh, we got julius at 20 points 10 rebounds four assists absolutely beasting um, I'm hoping he has, yes, he has a team option. That's absolutely perfect, exactly what we needed. Because, you know, $19 million, that's a really good price tag for him um, at this point now. Derrick Rose at 16 and 5 off the bench. RJ was beasting, quickly did amazing as a starting point guard. Once again, just good efficiency from everybody. Three blocks and about a steal for uh, Mitchell Robinson. Okay, similar to these playoffs. Shooting guard is the position we're looking for, man. That is the position we need. We're not going to get a great draft pick, but it might be something decent as the Nets do win the championship. Uh, but yeah, we definitely are going to be looking for a shooting guard. So going to the draft lottery, maybe we get lucky and we end up getting the top pick. We have uh, we have a chance. It looks like closer to about the eighth pick in the draft, but about a 7% chance to get that first. And oh, 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 yes. Let's go, baby. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, basketball gods. Yes, we got the first pick and the 10th pick in the draft. Hey, yo, my face is going red. I'm blushing, baby. I'm blushing. <laughs> Looking like the damn cap in my head right here, guys. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and I'm getting a little excited about a video game. But hey, that's besides the point, man. That is exactly, exactly, exactly what this team needed, baby. Yes, that is going to put us in the, in the next like direction we need to take here, man. Okay, NBA draft time. Let's get to it. Um, This is fantastic. So, yeah, we obviously have the first pick, so I can't sim the next user pick. But let's get to this, man. Now, obviously, the, the, the big-time choice would have to be probably Cade Cunningham, I'm thinking. But, uh, you know, we'll see who else is available here. And I don't know why it's taking forever. There we go. Okay, the Knicks are on the clock. Shoes prospect. So, yeah, uh, we got Jalen. Uh, John, I guess we'll probably go by overalls right here. So, we got Cade Cunningham, Evan Mobley. Um, Jalen Green would be a fantastic choice. I did say I need a shooting guard. But, uh I mean, to me, like, Cade is kind of the no-brainer in this case. You know, point guard, shooting guard. I'll put him at that two spot and be completely happy about it uh, with quickly starting at point guard. So, yeah, playmaker can do everything out there. Six, seven, so can definitely play that position. We are taking Cade with this pick in the draft. And we also have the 10th pick here, man, uh, you know, to improve some other aspects of this team. So, I think we are probably, let's say we got Julius and Obi for our power forward um, duo off the bench and stars and stuff. Center-wise, um... I mean, we have Nerlens Noel, so we could definitely improve right there. We go with the Ibu Dianco Baji. Please, I don't know if that's how you say it. Jalen Suggs, but we already have Derrick Rose. We don't really need Greg Brown. Um, you know, Bolt. Damn, dude got a damn A2 wingspan. Oh, my God, man. So, a lot of really solid players here. Like, Jalen Suggs, Greg Brown, um, talent-wise, are no-brainers. But both positions that are kind of already taken care of. So, I'm going to go ahead and draft Ebo right here to be a backup center or maybe a future star. Who knows? to a Mitch Robinson, and I feel pretty good about that. So there we go, man. That was a fantastic draft for us. Rookie signings, uh, sign up both these guys. Yes, sir. All right. That kind of takes care of that. Julius Randle back, Mitchell back. Um, Austin Rivers, I mean, two-year team ops for $3 million. That's kind of worth it. So yeah, we'll bring him back. Plus, I think Alec Burks might have been an expiring deal. So that kind of takes care of that. I'll extend the Frank Nilakina, although don't really have room for him on this team, unfortunately speaking. Alrighty, so we do have some money here to work with, uh, and it looks like Frank Nilakina is the only guy that needs to be re-signed, if I'm correct about that. I guess let me check real quick here just to make sure, but uh, yeah, we definitely have so much money to throw at like other players, and I just, there's no position that I'm like, oh my god, we need this position right here. So um, I guess maybe we go for somebody as like a six man, I guess we could probably do that. We got Oladipo available, Otto Porter, Laurie Markkinen. Some solid guys, but uh, nobody I really want to toss all this money at here, man. I would much rather just wait till next season or something. So, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of embracing, you know, the rebuild right here. And uh, going to save the cha-ching. 
for next year let's uh, go ahead man and simulate to the beginning of next season okay guys so here is the team going into the next season and just keep in mind man like in my opinion i i feel like if there's not a player you don't need like don't just spend the cap space just because you have it i feel like that's gotten the knicks in troubles in years past aka mr joakim noah so it's like there's there's no issue in like saving the money you know for something else why does quickly have like this white thing in his hair you all see that it looks like he got some damn, like, uh, dandruff or something like that. He's got some damn crispy flakes in his head. Uh, but we got quickly a point guard. Kate is going to be shooting guard slash point guard for this team, too. R.J. Barrett. This actually works out really nice. I actually love this for a duo. R.J. Barrett still at the three spot. Julius at the four. Mitchell Robinson at the five. Benching here, we got Derrick Rose, Obi Toppin, and Ebo right here. Now, I was kind of considering maybe putting Frank Milikina as, like, a backup shooting guard you know not point guard but the shooting guard spot because he's got some really good defense but uh, i think i'm gonna go with a tight nine-man rotation got a lot of young players on this team right here guys so yeah i think there's a lot of really good potential um let's go ahead simulate this nba season and see how this new look you know Cade cunningham knicks team can do okay guys so a 52 win team this season one more game against the timberwolves again i don't know why we always play them last uh simulate through date and finish with an l on the season so we got luca mvp kate cunningham rookie of the year guys the shooting guard spot 18 points six rebounds 10 assists this kid is the real deal right here uh and we got d rose of the six man yo how much more perfect could it be than, than that man for a video d rose of the six man neither one can shoot a damn three-pointer but hey it's all good right um and there's everything else for us there we go we got all nba first all nba second and all nba third looking like that i don't think Cade was on there no he wasn't which probably doesn't deserve it his first season but uh yeah, man, we are the second seed. You can't see because I'm in the way, but Milwaukee Bucks in the first round of the playoffs were the seven seeds. So that kind of sucks. Let's go to the uh, player stats on the season. And we got Julius at 19 and 10, Kate at 18. We got 18 for RJ. Emmanuel quickly at 16 and 4. Derrick Rose at 16 points. So many, you know, guys just scoring on this team and stuff. But uh, yeah, not really much uh, more going on with this. Let's go ahead and get these playoffs. First round, simulate round right here, guys. We are the second seed in the conference, and we just got first rounded by the uh, Milwaukee Bucks, which in all fairness, they literally have Paul George and Giannis. How the hell are they the seventh seed 2K? I don't really know, but uh, I actually kind of like that for a fit. Looks like they probably traded away, uh, what's his name? Um, Chris Middleton. So simulate playoffs and finish up this race. That's all good, man. It was a good growing season getting to the playoffs and everything. I'm not upset about it. But all right, so now we have some money to work with and stuff in free agencies. That's pretty cool. Let's see if we have another chance at the first round pick because that other one really caught me off guard. And uh, this time, we do not, which is cool. I'm fine with that, man. All right. Okay, okay. My piss is getting screwed, man. There's something like glitch with the game or something. So uh, where the Rockets have like both their picks. I don't really understand it. But uh, all righty, that's all fine. Let's get to rookie signings. I don't really care about the draft this time around. Not going to lie. Chet Holgram would have been nice, though. And uh, we get Miles McBride. Ain't that the dude from damn Back to the Future? I don't really know. All right, team player options. RJ Bag, quickly, Toppin. Toppin's now an 80 overall player, by the way. We've got two more years left of him before we have to pay him a big boy contract. And uh, Austin Rivers is back. All right, I don't know why it's the staff retirement thing's not working. It's probably going to glitch my game out, man. And what is going on, 2K? It's got, like, the dates going. Okay. Um, oh, what's going on? Stop it, 2K. Damn, I hate this shit sometimes, bro. Oh, okay. Okay, it just made me skip free agency. Hey, thank you for that, 2K. Thank you for letting me just skip free agency. Um, because your broke-ass game did not simulate a staff retirement. It kept the season going. Okay, that's really annoying, man. But, uh, hey, I guess we still have money to work with. I'm uh, so frustrating, guys. What is going on with this broke-ass game here, man? Okay, well, that's fine. I guess we're not doing free agency this season. I guess that just means I have to do another season of the rebuild. But, uh... All right, that's fine. Not a big deal anyway. Um, I like the team that we have together, you know, with all... It keeps on going up there, man. Okay. Well, we got past that. And uh, what's the team looking like, I guess, now? Um, so, we got Cade still. We got RJ, D-Rose, OB, this dude. It looks like we no longer have Julius Randle. 2K did not allow, allow me to keep him. So, uh, that really sucks. But uh, that's fine. You know, we'll be okay without him anyway. I mean, I wasn't so sure I was going to bring him back. Um, I, I, mean, I kind of wanted to, to be honest, but if nobody else was available, but that's all good, man. We still have a solid eight man rotation here and we'll just see who is available next season. That's completely fine. And plus it gives Obi top and, you know, some time to, I guess, some minutes out there. Oh, we also lost out on uh, Mitchell Robinson because the broke ass 2k. Hey, you love to see it, man. Sometimes you, man, that Nick's curse just kind of gets to you. Right. But, uh, do, oh, we, do we got quickly? No, we got quickly back. Okay. That's fine, man. We just, you know, we got, we got to persevere, get through it. It's all good. 
We still got a lot of money for next year, man. Uh, let's go ahead and simulate this next season, I guess. Okay, so that glitch definitely did kill the momentum of the rebuild, guys. 34 and 47 because of it. Simulate through date, but it's all good. You know, like I said, it's just a little hiccup. Sometimes that happens in seasons. Um, I, yo, at least we got the, hey, this dude, uh, Ebo was most improved at 13 and 13. So maybe it's a blessing in disguise that we're going to get a chance to see what this guy can do as a starter, right, man? So yeah, um, it's whatever. We are not in the playoffs. Thank you for that, 2K. And uh, let's go to the player stats. Kate at 19 and 10, OB at 19 points, also as a starter. So once again, not too bad up in here, man. Um, but we definitely, I think this is Derrick Rose. He got one more season after this. Okay, so we'll see what's going on. Let's go ahead and submit these playoffs. Get to the regular season. If anybody knows how to fix that glitch, by the way, uh, let me know in the comment section below. But uh, yeah, we should have a lot of money and there should be some big name free agents, you know, ready to go with this. So I guess we'll just go straight. This, okay, okay, we got to pass it that time. Uh, let's go to the draft lottery, man. Get, yo, I'm on Amoni Bates. I want Amoni Bates. I better get the top pick because of it. And hey, we got the second pick. Okay, you know what? All is forgiven, 2K. All is forgiven. Unless Moni Bates goes first, then all will not be forgiven, and I will be mad. But let's get, uh, let's get, I'll go ahead and get a coach. And it looks like uh, Thibodeau has retired. He wasn't that damn old. Okay, uh, well, I guess we're going to go and uh, let's get Nick Nurse. Why not, man? Nick Nurse is cool. Good balanced coach. Signs up. Okay, okay. Uh, NBA draft. I want Moni Bates. That's who I want on this team. I don't even really particularly need him, but that's who I want. So, okay, it's our pick in the draft. Choose Prospect, and of course, of course he went first. Thank you for that, 2K. Oh, man, I, I knew he was going to go. <sighs> draft summary, yep, went first in the draft. Okay, what, what if I, I might be able to finesse. Oh, I can't trade find anybody. I don't got nobody available. What, what, what if I give up three first round picks to get him, man? I will do that right now. Oh, shit, I might just do that anyway. Ben Simmons and DeMar DeRozan. Hey, I might just do that anyway, bro. Okay, okay. We got some trades off. We can get Julius Randle back. Uh, Din Whittle. Zach Levine, De'Aaron Fox. Jonathan Isaac. There's uh, Andre uh, Jackson. Okay, okay. Sounds like a good player. Ooh, cat. Cat, cat, cat. On a one-year deal, though. The Ben Simmons trade looks crazy, man. Um, And I... Uh, DeMar is a bitch-ass contract for DeMar. Hopefully he retires on it, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, man. Huh. A lot of really good trades here. I don't know which one I want to do. Pascal Siakam and Goran Hayward? Pascal is the starter. Goran is a scorer off the bench. Kind of like that. Not on big, huge contracts either. You know what? Give me that one. Give me this trade right here, man. Give me this trade. They're both expiring deals. We're bringing in two big-time veterans. I didn't really want to bring in another rookie, to be 100% honest, man. Um, you know, I'm sure a lot of these guys are really good. We just don't really need any more young players like that. So rookie signings. Oh, he's actually a 77 overall. Definitely take him. Player options. Get these guys all signed back up on the squad. Qualifying offers. Uh, we got to pay RJ Barrett. So yeah, let's, oh, LeBron for a season, man. What y'all think? LeBron for a season. LeBron for a season. LeBron for a season. I didn't even try to sign him to be honest. Cause, uh, I mean, I'm just not doing that, but, uh, alrighty. So we're moratorium period. And don't got too much money to work with because we signed some other dudes. But uh, that was kind of the point. Um, I do want to get RJ Barrett back just because, you know, like he's been nice for this team. And I think he deserves himself a nice payday. So I just renounced rights on him, man. Son of a bitch, 2K! You, you, you finessed me! I went too damn quick and you finessed me, bro. You made me renounce and then he damn accepts it! Oh my god, I cannot. I can't. I can't do this. I can't. You just finessed the hell out of me, bro. You did that. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so mad. I am so mad. Good thing I got Goran, I guess. Oh, I'm in a bad mood now, man. 2K is literally, I mean, in all fairness, they didn't really screw me over too bad on that one because I did go a little, I, I did go quick. But why does that automatically make you renounce rights on guys, man? I, I don't get I don't get it. Simulate to the beginning of the next season. Okay, guys, uh, here is the team going into the final season of this rebuild because my heart literally cannot take another season of being screwed over by 2K. Um, that's the starting five right there. I'm really happy we brought in Gore Hayward now. To re I mean, it's not really replacing RJ Barrett, but, uh, you know, he's still a really good player at this point, so going for that championship. Uh, D. Rose did retire, so he's no longer on the team, so it's not really a Derrick Rose rebuild anymore anyway, but uh, the bench unit's still really nice, man. Um, I still think this is a definitely a team that can make a run on the championship, so... 
for the love of God, let's simulate this final season and see what happens. Okay, so at least a good end to things, guys. A record of 56 and 25. One more game here against the OKC Thunder. Simulate uh, the rest of the regular season. And we got to look at MVPs one at, like every single year this season. But it's all good. Uh, we got all NBA first, all NBA second with uh, Cade making that. And all NBA third. Very cool, very cool. All right, man. Uh, we're the first seed. So that's great at least, right? Let's go to these uh, player stats. On the season, Kate at 24, 7, and 9. Pascal at 20 and 8. So he was a nice addition on this Knicks team. Quickly has quickly become a good player. I'm just joking. That was a bad joke. Uh, 17 points. So Obi Toppin at 16 and 6. Gordon at 12 points. Yeah, I mean, for one season contract. He was supposed to be a backup doing that. But obviously, you guys saw we got kind of screwed over when it came to that. But uh, let's see if we can win these damn playoffs here, man. We got uh, the Toronto Raptors simulate uh, round right here. At least get past the first round. We get them four games to zero. Uh, we got Colin at 24, Obi at 29 and 14 and 4. So he's really been a blessing for this team. 23, 23, 19, and 17. This guy's been a damn beast also. Uh, we got Charlotte Hornet simulate round Ray here. And ooh, we get them in a seven-game series. 28, 10, and 11. Triple dub for uh, Cade Cunningham. Uh, LaMelo at 12, 5, and 6. And they also got Chet Holgram. That would be a dirty team, bro. All right, uh, Boston Celtics simulate round. And we lose four games to zero on them, man. So... Um, yeah, ultimately speaking, we got screwed over a few times in this rebuild, no doubt. Now, the team we still finished with was still really good, and some of the guys that played really well in the end would not have played well because other guys would have been signed, so it kind of works itself out anyway. Uh, sometimes you just don't win a ring, so I'm not too upset about it. Long story short, though, man, Derek Rowe should help this team. He was not really utilized at all there in the end due to retirement. That's what guys do, but uh, that's all we got, man. Thank you all so much for watching, and peace out, my friends.